Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, galactic leaders of the way to source within. Today we have one of the most powerful celestial alignments of this timeline as Pluto moves into the sign of Aquarius. This event ushers in the new golden age of Aquarius and full embodiment of fifth dimensional consciousness. With this major shift, we experienced a big blast of light on the Schumann charts with an amplitude of 54 hertz of Mother Earth's holy resonance. In Heros Gamos, her sacred heart beats in perfect synchronicity with the Father of Creation. We came here for the end game. Let me take a moment here to define the game and how to end it. The game we play is pretending to be small. It is pretending to be less than divine, other than sacred. It is pretending to be separate from Source, the great mystery. The game is the program of living in sin, the sine wave. Now we end, win, and complete the game of living in the matrix. We accomplish this by living from our hearts being connected to all things. We live our passion, our dreams, our art, for life is art. It is good when we live in peace and harmony with nature, with God, with the universe. You are free when you know that you are one with God. The End Now go out and enjoy your life by living your passions. Be happy, love the children, love Gaia, love your family, friends, and all of humanity. Love God. Love your life. Be in peace, for there is nothing to fear, not even fear itself. You have the courage of a lion or lioness within. The power is within you this whole time. The power is in the stillness, in the silence, in the center of your being, your pure awareness, your pure presence. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul, White Gold Eagle, with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful decree on permanent healing. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 2 degrees, 23 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 3 degrees, 3 minutes Aries. 33 of Divine Mastery. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 4 degrees Aries. Two lovers strolling through a secluded walk. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 3 degrees Taurus steps up to a lawn blooming with clover from astrologyweekly.com and from divine bro throw the light lama tharchin rimpoche within the all-pervasive expanse of the sky of great emptiness without center or circumference the shadowless sun of luminosity naturally arises without emanating or dissolving Thus the dense darkness of innate and conceptual ignorance simultaneously vanishes, and the gateway of the great illumination of clear primordial wisdom freely opens, which is the vast expanse of the original primordial ground, free from restrictions and partiality. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster, we continue to navigate new templates in the root chakra, the seat of our kundalini, and tied to family and tribe. Safety and security, these tests are for you to navigate the emotional band, 4D, and resolve any past traumas in the Akashic. Notice any pain body being activated from old patterns of lack, plus survival, shifting, transmuting into a different pattern or thought form. Attachments to 3D aspects are fading as we ground the rainbow aspects of Gaia's rebirth. 
So much love, Valerie, from ValerieElster.com. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Holger Kirchhoff. Embrace Heaven's Cross, for we are all but one love, one light, one source. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Yes, things are changing. There is a divine call in one specific, almost holy direction. Steps will have to be taken soon, yet it feels like holding on a little more. Asking for clearer guidance about tangible moves to make. Your clarity is coming. Your energy is ready to be channeled clearly in a focused direction. This will build big. Wait for a little while as you prepare yourself to take a majestic, magically important and sacred action. It will bring you to a new level, almost straight away. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Broth or of the Light, Michael Muir. We are in a series of birth canals in the next four-week period. Between the two new moons in Aries, a deep realignment going in the spinal column to allow the central channel expansion and kundalini to amplify. Neck and sacral may feel out of whack and may need some of your attention or the support of a practitioner. This is corresponding to the slow and steady shift of Pluto into Aquarius. It's on. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Linda Lee. Dear family of love and light, the Divine and the Company of Heaven are carrying out a special divine intervention to clear the planet and humanity. The Divine says that the planet needs it right now, and Gaia is asking for it. Therefore, the Divine and the Company of Heaven are doing whatever is needed to help Gaia and lightworkers and humanity, and clear the old so that the new can come in. Let us together thank the Divine and the Company of Heaven help us and help the planet and humanity. It is pivotal that the planet is being cleared so that we, the light workers, can carry out our missions. Thank you for your light work and staying in the heart. Divine blessings to you. Linda Lee, the Divine and the Company of Heaven, so it is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Kirsty Elizabeth. 21321 energetics were pouring in with force as the dams which were holding back the cosmic deliveries of 233 2023 burst apart under the extreme pressure of all that we will behold across a 10 year stretch of life transforming purpose under an angelic agenda this is not to say that other forces are also at play the angelic mission is specific to those who hear and support their cause, most of whom are the gentle-natured, sensitives, and earth angels who inhabit new bodies with old souls. The call to purpose falls under three main categories, which in themselves are wide-reaching. Environment, community, communication, and connection of which individuals may be called under one, a mix of two, or an interconnected whole three. Those who feel a call to action will feel so under great passion and against great adversity. This is because of a spiritual warfare which rages in front of our very closed eyes. The angelic agenda of which I have spoken for over four years is a direct response to providing a balance of earthly and cosmic energies and is a real service to those who resonate with its causes. Headed by the beautiful icon of divine femininity, Mary, Queen of Angels and Mother of the Christ Child, the angelic agenda speaks through love to those with open hearts many of whom have faced great suffering and have seen many sorrows in the wider happenings of the world. For this is offered the gateway through the immaculate heart of the Great Mother, which in itself guides us to the path of the higher light of the Christ. Supported by saints and angels, by interplanetary life forms, ascended masters and loving spirits of the elemental and heavenly realms, we are looking to a time of great shifts where invasive dark energies might be dispelled through a movement of love for the lives of all fellow humans and creatures, for the securing of a healthy and natural environment across and within the planet, 
and for the return to connected unity of oneness, represented as the heart of the Christ. With the many darknesses that push against this cause, you might expect to sense that great heaviness upon your body or your emotions as we receive this pelting force of light across these short days, which could be overwhelming for those sensitive to cosmic changes. This message may not sit with all, but as it was given to me in early 2020, I have relayed it. May those with need to hear this find it today a source of explanation and a resource for future journeying. From Kirsty Elizabeth From Divine Sistar of the Light Sangita Handa Supernatural March 23rd has arrived. Part 2. Removal of the Old Matrix The Draconian Matrix is being removed. System failure. Signal rings. Alarms go off. The time has come. Today, March 23rd, Pluto enters Aquarius at 5.43 p.m. IST at zero degrees. The first time in 250 years the death planet enters the water bearer sign. And after Atlantis went down, Earth for the first time gets its new spiritual matrix, finally. If you have read The Voice of Silence, you know that Tholth had to do as a par Brahma, ordered Sanat Kumara to burn the scroll of earth. Get ready to enter a new timeline on earth, one of manifestation. If you have a high purpose for descent this lifetime, become invisible. Become nothing and move in silence. The will of God, with the aspect of power and protection of God, is seated royally at the throat chakra, the eye of God, that carries God's vibration of joy is at the third eye chakra with the love and light of God that is ever eager to bless enlightenment and freedom is placed at the top. This is called the perfect design of the perfect Adam Kadmon body. As created by our Lord so that the human race was fitted with all it would need to play the game to its fullest pleasures, lower chakras, of the I am not and exit when they were done, by forfeiting the free will and adopting the will through the pathway set up from the throat upwards, which is called the rod of power. By handing over the baton of free will, one lets go of the mind ramblings and thoughts such as, it has to be, I want this now, it is time, it is necessary. These are thoughts backed by fear. By giving up the I, you give up the need to control everything. Free will exerts great pressure upon the human as he thinks it's all up to him to make a successful life. Letting go is so beautiful and joyous. Imagine you don't need to plan big events in your life. You don't need to think so deeply into the future and fear with dread anything bad happening. Even death becomes a freeing experience. Joy enters. Love enters. Light enters. Power enters. Peace enters, harmony enters, abundances enter, and above all, God enters. Don't take the body lightly. If you can't break it open, you can't leave it. It's not a small imprisonment. Death is freedom, not to be feared. Life is now a waiting room for most unawakening souls. But for you, you have work to do, purpose to fulfill, mission to accomplish promises to keep. At this time of the biggest chaotic node, perfect balance is needed within. That's when the outside world of intense and progressive destruction shall not affect you. You are at peace and harmony within and outside. Remember, you didn't descend this lifetime to live a luxurious and material life only. You made a promise to the karmic lords you would be the pillar of frequency of God on earth and participate actively in the greatest shift ever to bring about the change. Anchor the frequency and hold it strong until the timeline of ascension is activated. Time is now. The new causal matrix is to be laid and activated. Get ready for it today. From SangeetaHanda.net From Divine Sistar of the Light Aurora Ray Gaia is ready for multidimensional residence. Beloved dear ones, 
all of you beautiful star seeds and light workers who have incarnated on this planet at this time to awaken your light bodies and help the planet ascend out of the lower vibrations to set humanity free from the hold of the dark forces holding this planet in place we once again appeal to you to raise your personal vibration and send out this message to all those who need it this is the only way we can liberate all of humanity and this beautiful planet from all forms of slavery and darkness. As star seeds and light workers, you have come to Earth to co create a new way of life. You have decided, as a group soul, to make the changes necessary to bring love and peace back to this planet. This is not an easy task as you will be met with resistance from the darkness of the current structures of society. Being a starseed and light worker often feels like being in a foreign land. You don't quite fit in anywhere. You feel different and alone. You may wonder whether you are part of this world, whether you belong here, what your purpose is, and why you were brought here. Many starseeds feel they are not from here or that they don't belong, yet they remain on the planet to fulfill their mission during this crisis times to raise the vibration of Gaia as well as humanity as we move into the new earth. The planet earth is now in a state of grave crisis. The great responsibility of those such as yourselves is such that you must now take action to undo what has been done to disrupt the earth's spiritual atmosphere. The dark forces are urging earth citizens to abandon their beliefs and return to sleep. They want you to forget about the pain that they caused on earth and the suffering of millions. They want you to forget all that has happened in the past. They want you to deafen your ears. They want us to block our spiritual messages. To do this, they use their radio messages, television messages, online messages, mobile messages. They want to take your energy and use it not only to feed themselves, but to destroy the earth. The raw free flow of energy has been hijacked by dark forces which are part of the invisible. This flow of energy should have provided free health care, beautiful homes to live in, essential food, happiness, and prosperity to the people of the planet. But this energy flow was manipulated into making financial investments which resulted in certain individuals becoming extremely rich. You are all powerful creators. The time has come to shed the masks and get down to business of bringing forth the golden age on this planet. It is time to get your power back. We can't continue allowing these dark forces to control humanity and more importantly, the collective consciousness on this planet. Humanity is entering a new phase of existence. As this occurs, those humans with no souls will be removed from the earth. That's right. All who do not have souls will be removed or cleansed, as many people like to say. Do not blame those who perform the cleansing, for they follow the only path open to them, and they do it out of necessity. During these times of transition, you must learn to follow a different path and evolve into higher frequencies that allow you to pass through the portals that stand open before you. Gaia is alive and was created to become an ascending planet. Light frequencies are allowed to ascend, but not the lower frequencies. These lower frequencies are meant to be transmuted into higher frequencies. Gaia is transforming into her light body and becoming ascended while not destroying all life on her surface, including humans. Everything is shifting at great speed. The presence of star seeds and light workers on Earth is preparing Gaia for a new paradigm of contact with non-physical beings and acceptance of extraterrestrial life forms. Gaia will be cleared and upgraded to a 5D planet and become a light hub for this part of the galaxy. This has increased her frequency and vibration rate by nearly 1,000 times compared to just a few years ago. She has evolved into a new level of her existence and function. The central sun is now anchored into Gaia and has transformed her into a beautiful butterfly. Gaia is now ready for multidimensional residence. 
we love you dearly we are here with you we are your family of light aho aurora ray ambassador of the galactic federation from the galactic federation dot com and from divine sister of the light karen lithica rest recharge align your light great light integrations are underway light family simply rest and recharge this weekend for the physical form is undergoing immense light upgrades light assimilations with the cosmic integrations underway layers and layers of light are now in mass assimilation simply remove yourself from the global distractions choose a sacred space in your home rest and be conscious in light for our conscious light is interconnected in a brilliant stream of wonderful light. Simply expand your consciousness to see our world in perfect harmony. For your focus needs to simply affirm and feel this light connection. For the power of us is now expanding. Simply see this message as confirmation. You are tapped into global light awareness. The cosmic pulsation of light is now reaching our world. Simply feel into this encoded message. The power of us is now expanding. With love, the true light awakening is here. The Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code You have all the tools you need to complete discovering your truth. What interferes with this is transmuting so you can have mental and emotional balance, which will lead to having more control over your life. Your mojo is returning, helping to remember how powerful of a light warrior you are. This power is to be used for yourself right now to grow your light and evolve into the real you. Be proud as you have come so far and overcome so much to gain this alignment. This weekend rest and integrate all these shifts and changes and be ready for the new chapter of your life. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Linda Johnson. 32323, a long-awaited astrological event occurred today. Pluto, the tiny powerhouse, finally moved into Aquarius after 15 years in Capricorn, dipping its toes in the cauldron until July. There are several periods where it will retrograde again back into Capricorn until it finally moves into Aquarius for 20 years in November 2024. This is the beginning of the Golden Age, the Aquarian Age, the Power to the People Age personal power, whereas Capricorn was all about restrictions, structures, foundations, authority, contracts, foundations, time, rule of law, and doing things the same way all the time to keep peace. And of course this has a place most assuredly. We've grown in owning our own authority and personal power, and though we begin to step in and up in conscious creation, during the last 15 years, we've seen the beginnings of profound change as these limitations began to be dismantled, questioned, challenged. Pluto is the planet of transmutation, transcendence, transformation, death, and rebirth, going through the veils into the mystery and extracting the gold into an alchemical change. Aquarius ruled by Uranus, the great awakener, seeks freedom, innovation, divine love, unconditional love, collective involvement with honor to the uniqueness of the individual. It's ahead of the curve, forward thinking and curious as to what is possible. We will and are already seeing the financial shift, exposures, truth seeking. We will see institutions shifting tremendously advances in technology and medical breakthroughs, AI advances, divination, astrology, and the choice and opportunity to allow the collective as well as individual rise, and use for blessing versus selfish benefit. Boundaries are and will continue to be so important as to what we allow in and what we send forth. The divine feminine is gathering in life force radiance and the Divine Masculine is beginning to recognize and build the container to hold it, 
and so much more. We are cohesively beginning to create together a step at a time as we heal and then come into union. This is all a process and does not happen overnight. It's so important to be present in every moment, not looking back, to continue the same repetitive patterns and not looking too forward because we don't know what each moment brings until that moment and the next moment and the next moment. Being in nature is huge and allows the mind to stay in an elevated place, concentrating on the here and now, what is in front of you, what is beautiful about this moment. Today on my way home there was a huge flock of trumpeter swans gathering in little pools by the side of the road. What a gift! Also, whatever practices you have begun to do, whether it's journaling, meditation, yoga, sound healing, all are helpful. So much is about to unfold and we don't know what that looks like. Be gentle, aware, hold your own counsel, share with like-minded folks, cave when you need to, gather when you need to. Discernment, wisdom, intuition are needed. Release self-judgment, invite joy, grace, and ease. Surrender and allow, expect magic. It's all possible as we are the choosers. I'm preaching to the choir. Here we grow and glow. And from divine sistar of the light, Leah Whitehorse, Pluto enters Aquarius. Pluto exits the dusty, bone-dry lands of Capricorn and enters the windy steppes of Aquarius. From here he regards us carefully. He sees soulless cities, isolated people, and demonized communities. Warring factions, relentless social media, choking air and polluted waters, toxic politics, hazardous invention without thought for future use, Pluto emits a low whistle. Geez, humanity, did you try turning it off and turning it on again? Here, let me. Click. Restart in progress. Installing updates. Do not switch off. A new story begins, a tale of transformation to ensure our survival in the future. Death and rebirth are part of the process. Pluto will destroy what no longer works to create space for a radical and necessary paradigm shift. Pay close attention to themes that arise, especially in relation to social connections, friends, groups, politics, innovation, and technology. Aquarius is an air sign associated with intelligence. Essentially, to evolve, we must change how we think and communicate. As a species, we are truly extraordinary. Pluto's passage will uncover the gold. We are about to receive many potent lessons on what it is to be human and part of humanity. Who are your people? Identify your kindred spirits, your community, your soul group. Deepen your bonds. Confront your shadows. Trust is key. We must stop fearing the future to change the future. Calm your nerves. Breathe deeply. Know what is in your control and what isn't. For your mind to claim your power. Pluto will remain in Aquarius until June 11th, 2023. This is a preview of things to come. From LeahWhitehorse.com and today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 49, Red Planetary Moon. The number 10 is called planetary and its key words are perfect, produce, and manifest. We have 10 fingers and 10 toes, and this perfect symmetry is what makes the number 10 a powerful measure. A perfect 10, 10 out of 10. How would you rate today? Strive for 10, 10, and you may surprise yourself. It's up to you to score the top mark. What can you manifest? Today is the red moon and the keywords associated with it are flow, universal water, and purify. These days are about going with the flow because the moon is so powerful with its influence. We must concede control and surrender. If you trust that the direction things are going in are for your own good, if you can just relax and relinquish the need to be in charge, you will really enjoy this day. The tide will turn and sweep you along. All you have to do is go with it. As it is a planetary day and that number represents perfection, this suggests that today is the perfect day to go with the flow. 
Try not to make concrete plans, but just see how the day unfolds. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Planetary Moon, 10 Maluk, Keen 49, 23rd of March 2023, Manifesting Flow, 23 3 2023 equal 537 equal 510 equal 51 equal 6 23 23 lion portal 55 liberation portal day codes 23 royal star of the lion strength protection support 5 freedom liberation movement change 6 heaven christ fertility family love joy Month year codes, 3, Holy Trinity, Creativity, Joy, Happiness, 7, Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician, 10, Manifestation, Authority, Power, Leader, 1, New Beginnings, Original Leader, Independent, Unique, 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision, 23, Keen 49, Equal 13, Equal 4, 13. Goddess, Cosmic Consciousness, Natural Lore. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation. A very fluid manifestation day where we are finding our new beautiful flow through our intuitive goddess powers as Pluto exits Capricorn tomorrow. We are breaking free of the old paradigm and entering a whole new compassionate world. The planetary goddess is opening a potent portal on this powerfully divine day. During this equinox, heavens cross gateway. The red self-existing moon is the solar seal for our current galactic dream spell year. So we have double the goddess powers today as we are redefining and creating a new compassionate and nurturing world. Bring it on planetary kin, counting down 10-10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Day 10 in the yellow sun wave spell is where we manifest our sovereignty through following the flow of synchronicity. Tone of creation, planetary tone 10 in the physical realm. Action produces, power perfects, essence manifestation. The tenth stage of the yellow sun wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible, and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality, and our lives begin to reflect the great dreams that we desire. Today we have double the manifestation power through the planetary tone and universal month 10 code for March, giving us a 10-10 manifesting code. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong, healthy relationships with ourselves and others today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness, and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Gaia, as we are all one heart. The goddess is urging us to manifest a beautiful new caring and compassionate world. Alleluia! The goddess has risen. Today's questions are, how can I purify my vessel to allow more feminine energy to flow through my pure heart, fueling my perfected manifestations? What needs to be purified and cleansed from our global body in order to restore our planet and manifest our new world filled with love. Divine blessings for manifesting your perfect divine flow. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 49. Red Planetary Moon. The mantra the code for today is, I perfect in order to purify, producing flow. I seal the process of universal water with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of navigation. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and Click the subscribe button below 
and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, this channel, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Brother of the Light, Els Minez, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a very powerful divine decree from Divine Sistar of the Light, Morgan Le Fay. Permanent Healing Decree Beloved Presence of God that I am in my heart, Beloved Ascended Master Hilarion, and all your legions that work in the healing ray, direct your legions of healing to all those in need on this planet. Dissolve the causes and cores of all human suffering, especially of the students of the light, God's messengers on earth, and all good souls who are working on constructive projects for the human race. I am boundless legions of healing down to the earth and pouring out their blessings now. I am boundless legions of healing being directed to hospitals, sanitariums, and any home where there is a sick human, animal, or elemental. I am God the Almighty restoring the health and vitality of all human, angelic, and elemental life streams on this planet. My love to God, Master Hilarion, and the legions of the emerald green flame. I am grateful for the healing and relief we received. Beloved, I am presence. Make this healing permanent. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and healing weekend ahead as we complete this most powerful, mystical, and magical month of March. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.